Righto guys, welcome back to another episode of Sailing for Power. Last episode you saw Michael shoot that fish and if you're like me, you're pretty sick of him shooting all the fish so I thought I'd go out and one-off him finally. <laughs> Just glistening. She was oh. shooting dinner right there. Not bad for a CBF meal because I'm absolutely wrecked. G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode of Sailing for Power. If you're wondering where I am, stick around till the end for a full update on what's been happening and why we've had such big delays between our videos. In the meantime, we're getting straight back into it. Uh, this episode, I shoot my biggest dog tooth tuna and biggest fish to date. To catch you up, last episode Michael shot a 31 kilo dog tooth tuna. It was the same day that I shot mine. It was full on. We were heat strokes, we hurt our backs, I hurt my wrists, like we were so wrecked but I knew that like this was going to be one of my only opportunities to shoot the fish of a lifetime and we didn't have much light left so you know I had about two drifts to make something happen. So this was our first drift when I heard James yell out, big doggy, and I just die straight away. I'm gonna let the footage do the rest of the talking. The craziest thing was that our flashes were still tangled in the float line, and they're connected straight to our tender. So not only was this fish towing two fully pressurised floats, but it was also towing our three and a half metre tender. We were actually pretty lucky about that, because amongst all the chaos, no one had grabbed the boat. James, do you reckon you can take care of that gun there, floating? Yeah. It's just back there and then just make sure the boat doesn't go anywhere. That thing 
Michael shot that doggy earlier today, so I'm like holding, 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 and shot it, and it just rolled. And I was like, I stoned it. They always I stoned do that. it. I stoned it, and they I was swimming out, stop. and he just uh, stopped. And I was like, Yes, I've done the Michael Takash move. And then the float line slowly. He didn't take off like crazy at the start. I was just pulling that float line as hard as I could. Oh, wasn't going anywhere. And then it was just like I was getting pulled down, pulling myself down. And then it was chaos. Like the line was around your oh, fin, then know, coming around, and I was like, it was like oh, getting I'm caught on the get gun. That thing's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Yes! This is what we've been trying to get for like three years. Three, Three years. years. Talking about 20 what, years. Yeah, 15 for me, but like on our boat, this is what we bought for Power 4. That's true. Trying tactic. to chase sea monsters, and here we are. That thing is huge. <laughs> All right, well. Let's tidy it up. We should probably tidy it up, and take get, a few photos, get and get back in the light, and then get And then photos. we come out in the morning and get changed away. Or a doggy. Or a 
<laughs> if there's any more freezer room. That's yeah, well, crazy. That thing is huge. It's a lot. size of it. It's bigger than you. 60 kilos I reckon. It is. Oh what a spot. I think it's huge. It's over 50. Huge day here on Sailing for Power. I just, yeah, this is this is crazy. This is like a massive, massive goal ticked off. Should we list the power for sale now? <laughs> Absolutely not. Anyway, um, we're gonna go get these guys um, cleaned up, filleted, get it in the fridge. Um, yeah, we got a big night ahead of us. It's gonna start with a nice cold beer, I think. All right, we've got to weigh this thing. It's All got right. to be 60 kilos. Let's weigh it and then The day has just begun. Okay, lower it. Oh, cramping up. Quick. Yeah, go. Which is back to stop. Stop. Lower it. I'll tear it. Lower it. Keep James out, go. Hurry. That's alright. Jesus. I'm thinking of it tomorrow. <laughs>
You all right? Yeah. Oh, big task ahead of us. This was a fish of a lifetime for me. There was no way we were letting any of it go to waste. We were up late processing the fish, squeezing every last morsel into our fridge and freezers. We can't thank our friends Pete and James from Selkie for letting us cram a ton of fish fillets into their fridges and for taking a million photos and putting up with our heat exhausted brains while we tried to weigh my fish. Cheers guys. How are we going there? Getting there. It's a bit of a hack job but uh... Michael has kindly filled my fish because I can hardly use my hand. And we're nearly done. I've got all of that in the fridge. Is that all of it? Are you sure you fill it at the other side? Yeah, it's pretty good. That's really good. And there's room. And then we've got the other one that'll fit in the freezer. Yeah, and easy. And as well. So I'm really relieved because I was getting very worried that we wouldn't have enough space, but we do. It Shine always here. fits. Oh, there's birds trying to land on the boat. <laughs> hey mate, what you doing? So I guess a 110 litre fi fridge fits 55 kilo doggy. Is it full? But what else is in the fridge? It's gonna Absolutely nothing. Empty? I emptied the whole thing. Huh? So what? what's the fridge in? What the hell is that? What's the fridge in? What? What is that? What is that? That's so gross. Yeah. Um, I literally emptied the fridge, took the drawers out, took everything out, so the heart. It's the heart. I think just hit it. I don't know if that was the knife I just sliced or that it was the... like a knife slice. Slip tip. Huge heart. Monstrous. Look at the valve on it. Oh, yeah. If I hit it, it would have died a lot quicker, wouldn't it? I don't know. They go bloody hard. Look at the size of the... Main That's crazy. Is it the aorta? What is that? I guess so. Look at that. Sure. Well, we have wrecked, absolutely wrecked this morning. I've just been up cleaning all the bird shit off the decks. Michael, it's your turn. Solar panels. Show them how bad they are. You don't even, you haven't seen them yet. It's like Enjoy. they've crapped off the boom, hit this disperser. <laughs> And just spattered it. Look at my wetsuit, it's, it's covered in food. Spattered. Like Look shotgun. I just reckon the panels are. Oh my lord. It's the price you pay for living in paradise. We were beyond grateful to find ourselves in this pristine environment and given the opportunity to land these fish of a lifetime. Buying Papau was all about getting to these remote locations and exploring the Great Barrier Reef right here in our own backyard. All right, what have we got going on in here? Doggy factory. Trimming up all the doggies. So last night we managed to squeeze four of these trays straight in our fridge. I literally emptied the whole fridge, took every fruit and bread, veg out, all the trays and drawers and stuff. We got four of these in uh, like sort of, em you know, like below the top level of it because flush. I took, yeah, flush, that's the word. <laughs> I took three of these to Selkie and they were like bulging out the top because we run out of trays. Um, they have a huge fridge, so yeah, we just took that over because we wanted to chill it right down and then we spent today just cleaning and like processing what even happened yesterday like that was the most insane day ever <laughs> on the water and um yeah we've just it's just calmed down like it's just cooled down a bit now it's like it's been 30 degrees all day um and yeah i'm just trimming this up now and basically it downsizes these two containers into Three some manageable containers. stuff so down here, um, that's all ready to eat, and then that's sashimi grade stuff, and I've got another tray there to trim. I'm just working on this huge slab here, 
and just basically um, breaking it down, getting all the bones out, um, taking all the good cuts for sashimi and then we'll freeze the rest to eat later. Because yeah, our freezer is looking real empty at the moment. Um, so we'll get some of this in now while it's still rather fresh. So good. And uh, yeah, like you should see, you should get the steaks out of the freezer. They look amazing. The sheen on them. <laughs> Grab them out and I'll show you. I'm gonna get a little poke bowl going here. These are the steaks steak. that I've cut, but I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but... Yeah, you can see it. The colour, like, just glistening. Um, I'm thinking of doing, like, the sesame seed crust mm -hmm. and just frying it. So good. But, yeah, like, I cut that and I was like, yep, that's dinner. So we've got two slabs in there. Once Primo. I finish trimming them. I have to say that is a pretty delicious looking dog tooth tuna dinner right there. Not bad for a CBF meal because I'm absolutely <laughs> wrecked. It's been such a big day. I don't know why I decided to cook this meal. It's actually pretty simple though. Looks it's a trial. Good. We'll see if it's good. I'll I'm cook it for you on doggy. camera next time. Yeah, so good. It looks amazing this meat. These are big chunky steaks covered in um, flour, egg and sesame. I have no idea if that's how you cook it, but this is a Sean inspired meal. So Sean, you'd be proud. Look, look how nice it looks. <laughs> Colors. I don't know about plating. I'm working on that one. Who's Sean? Sean from What You Gonna Do. They were cruising with us. We just left them in Airly, one of the reefs off Airly. So cheers guys. Sample. Oh, go for a thin bit on camera. Oh, you, uh -oh, who cut this up? Oh, God. Cut, 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 cut. cut, cut. Mm. <laughs> mm. So good. Soft enough yet? Mm, yeah, it's amazing. I already ate like half a curly twin <laughs> fish. I had a little thing of sesame and was just like, oh. Cut that steak in half, let's have a look. Okay. Bit for the road. Ooh. Yum. Perfect. So it's, some of it, it's funny. Some's really red and some is really white and they both taste amazing. Mm. So yeah, anyway. Dig in, see what you think, Michael. Try it. Yeah, I'm not going to film myself because I'm in my undies. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you want to yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're heading off to Harold's tomorrow. Join us next episode and we'll see what the place has got to in offer. See what the place has got in store for us. Cheers, guys. See ya. A little light snack of dog tooth. Tuna. Tuna. Man tuna. Man the tuna. Action. <laughs> G'day everyone. Thank you so much if you made it this far in the video. Um, bit of an update for where we are. Where are we, Jess? We are in Sydney. So we've been back down here for the last few months working like crazy. Um, it's been pretty chaotic. Uh, Michael, what have you been up to? <laughs> Uh, so I'm a commercial diver by trade, some of you may know, but this season I've combined that with a little side hustle uh, selling sea urchins on the weekend, which has uh, been like probably one of the funnest jobs I've ever done. Um, As yeah. well as doing something good for the ocean. Yeah, and, and getting rid of a few excess sea urchins. Um, so yeah, Kinna Connections, I'll put the <laughs> link in the uh, description below and you can check it out and hit me up if you want any. Yeah, so as well as working full time, he's also started another business on the side. So he's been pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, so commercial diving, industrial stuff, you know, diving under Navy ships and stuff like that during the week and weekends selling sea urchins and turban snails and things like that. So Do you want to go up there? It's been good. Uh, what about you, Jess? What have you been up to? Um, I've been working in film and television for the last six months and I've been off to Cooper Pedy. I've been at Early Beach. Um, I'm now in Sydney on my last job and then we're heading back to the boat. So very, very excited. 
Uh, we would love to make this a full-time job, but obviously uh, that's not pretty quite hard there. Yeah, not we're, quite there. Very close. We're close, but uh, yeah, not quite enough. So we've come back to Sydney for six months just yep. to cash up and uh, recharge the batteries, mm -hmm. visit family and friends, and uh, yeah, and we'll then spend some time here. Look how nice it is. <laughs> and we'll be driving back up this time to Townsville, where the boat is, yep. and uh, yeah, a bit of a refit, and then off we go again. So. Yeah, thanks so much to everyone who has been following, commenting, liking, our patrons, uh, everyone who's supported us over the last few years. Um, yeah, like we said, we'd love to make this a full-time gig. But uh, We have so much footage left. I still have a dozen episodes from last season. We are getting there, so please just bear with us, be patient. I will catch up. I'm going to be going pretty crazy on the episodes once I finish this contract. And, uh, yeah try and catch up before the next season starts i don't know how we're going to do that but we'll get there <laughs> anyway thank you so much guys we really appreciate it it's been lovely meeting so many of you back in sydney and hearing such positive feedback about the channel and just yeah it's just been really cool to connect with everyone and actually meet people in person i think we've covered everything yep uh new merch on the way too sailingforpower.com um keep an eye on that and uh we'll get it out to you when it's ready yeah. so thank you so much and see you in the next one thanks everyone see, see ya, ya. Next episode on Sailing Papau. We are hopefully on our last tack of the day. Sun is just about to dip. The wind's been coming from the east all day. It was meant to turn to the southeast, but didn't quite get there. It was... Oh, this is bad. Huge thanks to our current patrons for your ongoing support. And if you'd like to grab some merch, check out our link on screen or head to sailingpapau.com.au. Cheers. <laughs>